So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. Time for another covered bridge. We're here in Bedford, PA today, here in South Central PA. So I just got done filming my video on the Forbes expedition for the French and Indian War. We filmed two other covered bridges today too over near Breezewood. This one is in Bedford. At the entrance to what's called the Old Bedford Village, which is actually closed today, it's a Monday. They're doing some construction here, so you might hear a little bit of noise. I am planning on sticking one of my channel stickers out here today, or one of my channel magnets, or perhaps a pin. Let me show those to you. Then we'll get up here to the bridge. So I have been working on some new things in my merch shop. Because they do have, they have magnets now. You can buy some magnets. I know some people would ask about those. So here's two of them that I ordered. And they also have buttons now that you can get. These are the two inch ones. I think they have some smaller ones too. I got a bag of five and some channel stickers. Still working on these. Uh, these ended up being too small, so you can't get these anymore. Although, I think you can get this one. I think I corrected so this one is as large as this one. But anyway, I'm going to put one of these out here today. I think I got to pick which one yet. And then we'll head up there to the bridge, the clay comb covered bridge. Hopefully we can get up through that construction zone up there. All right, so I'm going to give away this sticker and a magnet. I think I'll give two away. So this will be number 75 here in Bedford. So you get a little sticker. So they're smaller and I'll give you, put a magnet together. Then we'll, once we're exploring the bridge up here, we'll find a place up there hopefully to stash it. All right, so here we go. Got a little bit of construction noise. This is the clay comb covered bridge. Also referred to as the Reynoldsdale covered bridge. And you can see the design once again. It's our old friend, the Burr Arch Truss. This one's 126 feet long, built in 1880. A lot of building going on on the other side. Yeah, this one's under, this one doesn't have that whitewash in it. Yeah, this does not originate from here. It's actually moved here from a place called Reynoldsdale at some point. But it's got the double burr arch, double in both ways. As in, there's two up and down, and there's double that way as well. This one actually receives uh, bus traffic. Because up that way is a place called the Old Bedford Village. It's like a tourist area. So it's been reinforced. Probably steel beams underneath. Wow. Take our way down to the side here a little bit. Try to get a picture of it in frame. I'd go over there, but they're doing construction on the other side, so I will not disturb them. We can kind of see the arch kind of popping up above there. All right, let me get a picture of this. All right, that'll probably have to do, because like I said, they've got a big, huge crane here and everything. I'm not sure what they're doing, but let's try to get a view underneath here and get down here. So we got to find a place to put the sticker, maybe down here somewhere. I'm guessing there's going to be huge steel beams here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five big steel beams. So you can take the bus traffic and stuff, like I said. It looks like they're building another bridge over there. So are they going to move? Are they going to move this bridge over there? Maybe that's why the crane is here, I don't know. Interesting. Well, I'm going to stick the channel sticker down here somewhere, I believe. Let me find a spot. All right, so I'm going to stick the channel sticker and magnet up right in there. So right here is where the burr arches come down. I'm going to stick them up here, just out of sight. And to keep them from blowing away, i got a rock here. Got some mud on it, but I'm going to put it right on top of there so you can't see it from it's right up there so you can't see it from down here so no one will see like the plastic bag but up there it is make sure it's secure it's not going anywhere right there it is of course as always with these if you're the person to find the channel sticker and the magnet number 75 if you could let me know send me a message 
send me an email, let me know you found it, and also a picture that we can share it in a future video. Still waiting to hear from some people. Like I, I do have one to share from Massachusetts, not today. But I, I haven't heard from anyone about the one that placed up in Rhode Island yet. And I didn't hear anybody from anyone about the one, see Rhode Island, was that number 71? Yeah, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I didn't hear anyway. I placed one at Delhaus Woods. That was the one with the flashlight giveaway. I think that was number 73. I haven't heard from anyone about that one either. Anyway, all right, but yeah, let me know. Yeah, so I'm guessing they're moving this bridge, so hopefully I get this video uploaded before uh, they move it, or the construction guys are the ones that are gonna find a channel sticker up there. We'll see what happens. Maybe this isn't the best place to put one, but we'll see. We got a sign for it. Bedford County Bridge number 39. Moved from Reynolds Vale site in 1975. It looks like they still got quite a ways to uh, finish building what they're building here, so I don't think this bridge is moving anytime soon. That is indeed what they're moving. You have noticed some, with some of the bridges out here in Bedford County, they have this like, uh, what you call it, like, almost like a skirt coming up. I think I said it's 126 feet long. Yes, yeah, so as you, if you come to visit what's called the Old Bedford Village, you get this experience. Come across the covered bridge. Like I said, they do bring buses across here, so it's been, as we saw below, it's been quite reinforced. Still beautiful though. All right, the clay comb covered bridge. Oh yeah, we haven't mentioned the uh, the king post for a while. There you got the king post with the two diagonals. And you got, of course, you got the arch, the burr arch. But I think that'll be it for Bedford here. Nice little visit to this covered bridge. Not a busy one. I think if you come here when the Bedford Village is open, is it Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, I think maybe this bridge, this bridge will be a lot busier. You come in a day that's not open. There's nobody here. So maybe the construction workers. Yeah, let's say Bedford is an interesting town. A lot of history in there. I'll have to visit again sometime. All right, but I think that'll be it. Oh yeah, we gotta take Naomi across yet too then. But I think that'll be it for me here. Let's get to Naomi and we'll drive across. Say bye then. Take one last look through this way. It's always neat with those arches. It just has a... All right, let's get to Naomi. She's waiting up there for us. But you know, just on second thought, it looks, there, looks like they have barely a trail out to that. So maybe they're not replace, moving this bridge over. Looks like they're building a bridge for the trail. If that makes any sense. The trail comes out. Maybe that's what's happening. Anyway, if you, let me, you can let me know in the comments if you know more. All right, time to head across the Claycomb Bridge. Yeah, I'm guessing they're building a separate bridge for something else, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, because this is much longer than the bridge is. All right, here we go. Naomi's favorite part. All right, that'll be it, folks. Thanks for coming along. I'll see you on the next one.